We'll take control of all this. We're gonna put a flag in this stuff. Hello guys and welcome to Bip King Gaming. I'm the Bip King and today we're gonna to be playing some RimWorld. This is my very first video that I'm ever gonna record and upload for you guys, so please like if you like it, subscribe if you want to see some more good content on RimWorld and follow the Let's Play series and if you want to give me as much feedback, positive, negative, anything at all, please leave it in the comment section below. Now without any more further ado, let's get into it. So I've already created, we're going to, just to get everyone into it, uh, we're going to do Bip King Gaming. We're going to create a new world for us to play in. Uh, we'll just um, yeah, we'll just do a Sela. So the seed is Bipkin Gaming if anyone else wants to play on it and join along. Uh, I, because I am a royal noob, I am going to put myself... I, I've played this game uh, a couple of times. I thought I'd at least get to the stage where I didn't just die straight away before I tried to do a Let's Play series. So I'm not going into this completely blind, but we're, we're, we're going pretty blind. There's, 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 this looks like an interesting map. So we'll save that one. Uh, and then we'll create a new colony. We're going to play on Cassandra Classic. For those who want to know, there are three ways of playing the game. There is it's basically difficulty levels. Uh, so you've got Cassandra Classic, uh, Phoebe Chillax, and Randy Random. Now, um, Cassandra Classic, uh, this is the way the game was supposed to be played. Um, and it kind of just gently gets more and more difficult uh, as you get through the game. Phoebe Chillax is pretty chilled. Uh, but there's just a long gap in between things happening, so yeah, it's good if you just want to chill and be a uh, base builder or a free player or anything like that, and you, and you just kind of want to build, but you, it just takes ages to get followers and, and raiders and stuff like that, but we'll see that. And then Randy Random, everything just kind of happens um, whenever it happens. It's, it's, it can be crazy, but it can also be long stints of nothing happening. So um, we're going to play Cassandra Classic, and we're going to play on Rough, so... Let's we'll, we'll see how we get along with that. Uh, and we're going to pick this top one here, which is the one I've made. Uh, so, we are going to pick... Um, the dog's, like, lying next to me, just just rubbing up against me. I don't think she understands why I'm sat here talking with myself. But I'm sure she'll get used to it as we get into this. So, um, what we want to do is we want to look for something. Over here, we've got different temperatures. We can see what kind of um, biome it is. Uh, it is. We can see what type of terrain it is. Um... And we want to look for something. So what's this? Minus one, eleven average. That could be good. It gets a little bit cold. It's something that we have to think about. Uh, spring, sixth of spring, sixth of fall. Yeah. Limestone and sandstone. What have we got up here? Slate, limestone, and granite. Mm. Let's see. Large hills, limestone. Oh, limestone and slate. I like them. It's only just, they're just pretty colors. Uh, that's about it. Uh, large hills, temperate train. It gets pretty cold in the winter, um, so that would be good. Uh, for the advanced settings, I'm gonna play on a medium sized map. Um, the higher it goes, the more uh, kind of processing speed you need. Um, so it's something to, just because I'm not playing on something very powerful, we are gonna go for, we're gonna go for medium. We're gonna see how it goes and hopefully it won't lag too much for you bros. Um, that would not be very good. So we're going to select this site and then we're going to win. So um, I'm just going to quickly explain the basics here. Uh, what we have to do is we have to um, pick the, uh, the talent. So as you can see, they've all got different talents uh, and they've got some kind of traits and characteristics. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll all of this and I'm going to try and put in some fancy uh, kind of transition here. And when we come back, we should have some... Um, some characters to go with so I will see you in a minute all right guys we're back and uh, yeah so we've done some re-rolling here and uh, we've come up with some all right guys not too bad we've got a little bit here a little bit there so um, you kind of want to try and get uh, at least a balance going throughout everything uh, which we have got I mean we've got a good miner but he can't craft a research and he can't shoot so he's gonna hopefully be a worker hopefully he uh, he won't have uh, too much. He's got a bit of minor Alzheimer's, which isn't ideal. But um, yeah, we'll go with these and uh, and hopefully we can make something work with it. So uh, basically the game is uh, you strand on a planet. It's a 2D survival game. 
um, you build up, it's got some RTS elements in there as well, but you build yourself up, you get yourself sorted out, and um, we'll, uh, we'll talk more in depth as we go through it, because there are just so many cool elements to this game, so many things you need to consider, each part of the game takes just forever to do, uh, and, and it's just, I mean, I love this game, guys, that's why I've decided to start with this one, um, and hopefully we can get something good out. So we're going to start with, we're going to give... Uh, him the pistol, he's the best shooter. I'm gonna give him. Right, we have to allow them to use all this first. To do it. Uh, right. Why won't you pick up this weapon? Can you do it now? So you can shoot. Ah, oh, maybe he just hadn't landed. What? That doesn't. This doesn't bode well. Our one of our main shooting guys can't shoot. All right, so let's try that. There we go. Dem bugs. All right, and eh, you can kind of stab, so we'll give you the knife. And it looks like we got ourselves a little Terry as well. Okay, so we're gonna have a little look at the world around us. Um, we want somewhere kind of defensive to start off with. This area here looks quite nice. I think this looks good. It's quite big. Mm, should we start in? I th think we're going to start in here. But eventually we'll hold. We'll, we'll take we'll take control of all this. We're going to put a flag in this stuff. Um, right. Okay, so um, we're going to start off in this area and we're going to build up. So the first thing we need is a stockpile. Somewhere we can uh, just unload all our knickknacks and trivia. So we're going to put this. We'll put a stockpile like that. And we'll put a dumping one like that. That's, is that, that's quite small. Um, tell you what, it'll do for now. We'll chop this guy down, this guy down, this guy down, and then we will mine, we'll just mine here for now, that'll do. Uh, and then we'll got to go around, allow, you got to click F just to, um, what's it called, um, things are currently forbidden, so it just prevents them from running over there and grabbing that stuff. Uh, but we kind of want all of this stuff straight away. Um, yeah, let's just get them going. Let's speed up. We gotta sort that out. Get the food. Oh, you're still there. All right. So next thing we need to set up is their work. So we'll put priority one on all of these. So we want them all to firefight. We want them all to be patient. Patient means that they'll go to a medical bed if one's available. Bed rest means they'll just go to a bed. Uh, we'll put. Um, for now, we'll just put them all to work as doctors. That way, if anyone gets hurt, we should be alright. You can be a warden, and you're all going to flick. Flicking, basically, uh, is anything that needs turning on or off. They'll just... I put everyone on that, and it just means that whoever's closest to it will go off and do that. When, um, do we want a handle? You can be the handler for now. Yeah, you can also be the cook. Definitely gonna be a miner. Uh, you'll be a now nah, you'll be a main miner too. You can hunt. You can hunt. So you can be a secondary hunter. You've got nothing else to do. Plant cut. Uh, smithing and such we don't need to worry about for now. Crafting we will need to worry about soon. Research. Oh, we all need to be on the hall first. Um, that. We have all these secondary. Um, actually, you can be the number one. No, I want. Oh God, he doesn't have a passion in that, does it? All right. Well, hmm, we'll put this guy in there. Uh, you can all be. We won't make. You can focus on growing. And we'll mining, growing. Yeah, growing. Okay, so we're gonna get some plants up and going we're just gonna put a just for now nice and annoying in the center like I 
That'll do. No, I just I don't I like things kind of symmetrical, S symmetrical, symmetrical. Okay, so um, we are we've got the bases going. We've got a dumping pile. We've got this. Uh, what we actually want to sell them is I don't want them to store any human corpses, but animal corpses are all right for now. Uh, and it looks like they're all they're all getting going. They're all getting working. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get some shelter up and around this bit here. So, structure, we'll do wood for now, even though we hardly have any of it. Like that, and like that, and we will put a nice little door yeah, going right into that tree. We'll cut that down. Um, is there any wood around here? Aha, wood. Wood, 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 wood. That was terrible. I'll try not to sing too much, you guys. I know I can't sing. I'm never ever going to pretend I can. Um, right, so uh, that's the first thing we want to do is we want to get our food situation sorted out. I always feel like that's kind of important. I mean, there are kind of like initial things you need to get done first. Like the first thing we need to get done is uh, we need to get a uh, let's let's start off with the things that we really really do need. So we'll put three beds in, like so. Uh, haul that. Um, kind of hoping we're gonna get a load to pick that up as well. So it looks like we've got quite a good amount of animals around. This here, ship chunk, you can deconstruct that for components and stuff. Um, we got this is a nice little area. I think we can make a nice big colony here. Big, big colony. I mean, that'll be so much later on in the episodes. Um, for now, we're just going to focus on getting our basics set up. So we want to get ourselves some food and get ourselves some uh, some shelter going, which we've got. Uh, we want to make sure we've got uh, some defenses set up. Food really is the main priority, but we need to get our research going. So we're going to come in here, production tab, and we're going to build a wooden research table. Complain, and uh, we're gonna chop down these trees because they don't they are gonna go up and grab it up there but I don't really want these trees in the base in the base in the base 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 I want to get rid of the colony uh, we want to get rid of the colony what am I talking about so guys like I said this is um, this is the first video that I have ever recorded especially gameplay video let's play whatever the lingo is um, yeah, like I said, guys, I really appreciate any, uh, any feedback that you can give me, um, because I think feedback is good. I feel like I, I can learn from that. Um, even if you just want to troll me and tell me I'm terrible and I pronounce things terribly and so on and so forth, please do. It all helps. Um, and yeah, I'm sure everyone in this, hopefully, this little community that we can build together, hopefully you can all just have fun laughing at how terrible I am at pronouncing things, how many things I miss in the game, uh, and you can all let me know, um, and I'd really appreciate that. So we've got things under, uh, things going well, things going well so far. We really want to get um, someone to start growing, so I am going to chuck you on growing one. Uh, there we go, and then we're going to expand. Um, we're going to put our food storage now because um, we have got some really good miners and I really want to take advantage of that so do that uh, and I want to just expand the storage if you want to expand the storage click on it first so that it's highlighted and then um, go from the inside and out any other time I've done it any other way it's gonna be do lally and just kind of done uh, or does what it wants to do um, so I think if you guys do it that way, um, you should find it okay. And this is really going to annoy me. This door goes right into the stockpile. So that's something that we need to sort out at some point. But for now, what we really need to focus on is just getting ourselves situated. Um, we're doing alright so far. Uh, we want to look at getting some power on the go. Um, so they're all going to be sleeping out. They, they should all be pretty happy because we've uh, got ourselves uh, some wooden beds for the first night. Um, I'm going to speak this up while we do this. Um, so uh, as you know, you can you can see, or as you 
probably don't know, or maybe do know. You never know. I'm not going to assume anything. Um, but in here, you can see all the trades they're doing. Now, these will go up. The ones that have got, um, what's it called, uh, two little Bernie bits, they are the things that are passionate about. One little Bernie bit means that, uh, sorry, it's passionate. Uh, this is something that, am I saying this wrong? I feel like I'm saying this wrong. Right, but they definitely have a, a passion for that and uh, not so much passion for that. Oh, passion, interested, as you can see um, under where it says 9,000, passion, interested, and passion, burning. I guess that's why they made a little flame bits. So yeah, so those are the things, uh, two flames, they'll uh, learn that skill uh, twice as fast. Um, and we'll put a door there. Uh, and if it's just one, uh, then they only get it. Sorry, if it's one, they get twice as bad, basically three times as fast. So it's all it's all good stuff. Um, all right, these little bushes here, we can actually, we can harvest these and we can get berries from them. So that's a good little temporary food source. So we'll do that. And they are digging, digging, digging. Oh, what have we found here? Silver ore. God, we, we've already got 825 silver. Uh, and we've struck compacted steel. Great. Steel is just one of those things that you're just never going to have enough of. Um, so that's good. Um, what we actually we want to get some research going. And the first thing I want is stone cutting. Just because wood, like your whole base can just set on fire if you don't really get it under control. Um, uh, and when we get further into the game, we start getting raided and stuff. Uh, wood walls are okay, but if they start like destroying any turrets next to your wood walls... Um, It'll just kind of destroy everything. So we want to get some stone cutting going um, so that we can get ourselves some stronger walls. Uh, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, another stockpile sewn in here. Uh, and we're going to tell them to haul all of this here. And under production, we're going to put an... Ill uh, tell you what. Should we go straight for electricity? I mean, we kind of need it regardless so we can do that um yeah yeah let's do it okay so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna get them to mine just that for now uh and then we're gonna build some solar panels over here and uh that way we can run power into the house hopefully there should be enough room for some batteries along here it should all work out. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna want some. We're gonna want an electric stove, and we want a. How are we doing for steel? Got a lot of steel. Also got a lot of wood. Got wood. Um, right. Yeah. Let's do our wood. Uh, and we'll pop that there. So once they get back up, they should build the cooking, uh, the electric stove, and the butchering table uh, and then hopefully we can put down our, our solar panels and get some solar power going as well um, all the animals that you see can be tamed um, it's probably not something that we'll do too quickly they can just like randomly walk in and join you as well and you just have like all of a sudden your base just full of pigs um, which is good because it's uh, good to have food like that but um, at the same time it's kind of not good because if you do kill them everyone gets sad and people people get so sad um, so we'll try to avoid I want to try and avoid something or anything that I do that makes uh, so we see we got mental state confusion Remo is confused why are you confused is he's is he the old guy yeah he is, is, is what was it he had was it dementia Alzheimer's, his Alzheimer's kicking in. Poor lad. Not only is he just stranded on a godforsaken planet in the middle of nowhere, but um, he also has a bit of Alzheimer's. So I feel, feel, I feel for, I feel for Remo, and I feel for any of you bros out there who knows anyone who's got Alzheimer's, because it's a terrible disease. Uh, right. So we currently have the issue that this bit here, as you can see, there's like a shadow running up here. Uh, and the only way we can actually get rid of that is by making it a room. Uh, now that doesn't become uh, that big of an issue when we have uh, when we build stone walls around it because it'll consider all of this to be to be closed in and um, 
And yeah, when it's all closed in, it puts a roof over it anyway, and it considers it indoors. But because we can't do that yet, uh, we're kind of just stuck with this dead area here. So we don't want to put it there. Uh, we do. That'll do for now. And uh, we'll just mine. We'll mine this out. And that should help to go. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, and then I'm going to put some batteries up along here. Uh, what we can actually do is. Perfect. No, cancel. Stop it. We want that there and that there. Build, 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 build. And then we want some batteries. Two will do for now. Uh, and then. Do you have a, a, oh, God, that's annoying. Okay, there, there. There and there, and that should allow that to connect. Okay, so for this storage area, we're going to clear everything. We're going to set its importance to critical, and we're going to say it can have food, it can have medicine, and it can have animal corpses. That'll do. So what that basically means is that anything that they, any food that they find, they'll store over here, uh, and we can do the same thing here. Uh, or we can do the opposite here, shall I say, of let's say no medicines, uh, no animal corpses, and uh, no food. So now they'll take all of the steel out from here, put it here, and then they'll take all the fuel from here and put it down here. Uh, so, okay, so now you can see, even though it isn't a shadow, it is fully charged, so that is good. Uh, I do think that if I put one down here, it won't fully charge. Uh, and we don't really have the resources to test it. Um, God, we are collecting so much of this stone. Uh, uh, research is halfway done, so hopefully by the time we get into the next episode, um, we should we, we should be ready to get some stone cutting going. But like I said, that's for the next episode. So until next time, bros. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like button if you enjoyed what you watched. Uh, if you're a nice guy, do it. Do it even if you didn't like it. Who knows? It might get better. Um, and uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Uh, there's going to be some good content coming up, more of this Let's Play. And uh, I'm working on a couple of other little videos here and there. And um, yeah, thank you very much. I will see you next time.